to start about start thinking about spring cleaning. But before you throw out any old paintings or artwork, you should find out if it has some hidden value. So today is a good chance to get those old works appraised. Rob Callie joining me. He's the president of Consigner Canadian Fine Art, and here to give us a sampling of what kinds of pieces might be worth something. Good morning to you. Good morning, Jill. This you? is a really fun job for you because you get to find these treasures that people might have stashed away. We do, and we do these across the country. Um, we have a we have an auction website at consigner.ca. We do live auctions as well, and we've done these coast to coast from St. John's. Uh, and then we're in Victoria next week and everywhere in between. And we found some great works um, okay. th through our days. Okay. Now, do you need to be a professional to identify things that might hold value in a piece? Certainly training helps. Uh, we've been doing it for many years. Um, we usually will recommend that if you do have kind of a specific question about a work or you're not sure to contact a professional. And you can go to uh, consigner.ca. You can go to our website. We do that for free. Okay. Um, and we do it in our days as well. There are things you can look for as well, though. I mean, even reproductions of, of major works. Sometimes prints will be made up of tiny dots. If you use a magnifying glass, mm -hmm. just like newspaper used to be. Um, and just looking up artists sometimes on Google can help you and give you some direction. But usually talking to a professional after will help you. Okay, and you guys are in town. We're going to find out about that. And mm -hmm. just looking at the scope of work that you brought, these will all be on auction. They will. Um, which piece do you think would be the most expensive? It might surprise you, but all of these pieces have values assigned. So take us through uh, the pieces that you brought along today. Sure. We'll start here. This is an artwork by Doris McCarthy. Uh, when we're valuing works, there's many factors we take into account. One is medium. Uh, her canvases, her large paintings can sell for tens of thousands of dollars, even up to about 50000 This is a work on paper. So works on paper carry a bit less value. This is valued at around the uh, twelve dollars to $1,500 level. Um, this is in our current March auction at consigner.ca. It's an online auction. Uh, if we move along, then, this is a, a print, actually, um, by a member of the Group of Seven. So this is a work oh, by really? uh, Lionel Fitzgerald, who is a member of the Group of Seven uh, from Winnipeg. Um, another situation where medium plays a role. It's a print by a printmaker, carries a value of a seven to $900. Uh, if we move along, this work actually has the highest value. This is in our live auction that takes place on the 31st of May in Toronto. It's a work by Maude Lewis, a Nova Scotia artist. She lived in a shack. They're actually, they've made a movie about her life um, starring Ethan Hawke that will be released, I believe, this summer. Um, oh, would the value go up with something like that? It could. I mean, it certainly helps. Her market is extremely strong. We have a lot of collectors um, across Canada and even into the States. This work carries a value between six and $8,000 at auction, and wow. it could even exceed that. This is a, this is a well-known image. She repeated a lot of scenes, very, very well-known scene for her. And then the last work is a work by John Casson, who is a Toronto artist. That's a watercolor. Again, his canvases and his works uh, in oil can sell in the tens of thousands. This work is valued at uh, 1000 to 1500 That work was actually purchased at a thrift store mm -hmm. in the last six months for, I think, about 10 or $15. No. So it does happen. Yeah. So what are the factors that you're looking at? What, are, what assigns a piece of value? Artist is first, definitely. Um, the medium, so whether it is an original work, a watercolor, an oil versus a print or a reproduction. A right. reproduction usually has lower value. It can be under $100 if it's a work, say, by the group of seven, a reproduction. Um, the rarity of a work, yeah. uh, which can go both ways. If it's something out of the ordinary, sometimes that can be a higher value at auction. Sometimes it can be less. If it's a floral still life by a member of the group of seven and we're used to landscapes from them, that'll be less value sometimes. Okay. So, oh, really? Some of those factors. Interesting. You yeah. say group of seven, and I imagine that the price would be through the roof. Can be. I mean, the range can be, you know, under a thousand dollars for a print, all the way up to over a million dollars for an original. Fascinating. Yeah. Well, we've done some digging here with the help of the BT team, yes. and our very own Andrew Schultz is getting in on this because. And did you clean your garage, Andy? One thing. No, no. These are from my house. He's hanging in the house. This is one of them. Oh. And, uh, <laughs> you had not mentioned velvet. No, that is a very. This uh, is Pink Distinct Panther medium. on the commode. Yes. With a full wood the frame. Oh, it's a real wood frame. Very nice. It's velvet. And, uh, you know, this is one of my most esteemed pieces. Find this somewhere else. Yeah, that is, original. I can say in my career, I've never come across this work. Mm -hmm. So there certainly is a rarity factor to yes. it. <laughs> I would say the rarity would work in the other direction here. Okay, yeah. Very I important. Like that. This is the artist, obviously, the toilet period for the artist. Yes. Um, <laughs> You're probably looking at uh, a sentimental value, I'd say, more than anything else. Can you else. put a price Aww. on that? Really? You can't put a price on that. Yeah. I, I wouldn't even attempt. Um, See, next up. Rob's done this before. <laughs> this one here, this is from Granny Scott. Uh, and, uh, Look at that. She made this out of corn and various seeds. This is called the rooster. It's the cock of the walk. Going um, to what say. do you think of this about bad boy? Well, medium again, I'd say this is a mixed medium, being that it yes. looks like it's made up of uh, kernels and seeds. That's right. <laughs> um, again, you this would be. Stuff? Yep, this would be uh, priceless. What about I would say. bonus points for the googly eye? The googly eye helps. I mean, it gives it a three dimensional look as well. 
And it follows you around the room, which is uh, uh, enchanting. We, I'm not sure if we have any. Uh, well, I had one more uh, that was stored as a picture, but you looked at it. It's uh, L'Opera de Paris. Yes. I always thought it was the Paris Opera, but apparently it's called something fancy. Mm -hmm. um, and here it is right here. There it things. is. Well, um, it's, it's beautiful. It's it four is four feet by uh, three and a half. Which, if it is, my guess is that it's a copy. I think um, it's original. Well, I if paid it, two bucks for it at garage sale. No, <laughs> it could be. It could be an original. It could be that the artist copied the original. I say that it's a copy because <laughs> the original is actually in the Louvre. Oh, okay, you so got if, me there. Yeah, you got me. If that's the original, you probably have some explaining I to do. I lost to Toonie. And well, Toonie's pretty good for a work on the Louvre, but uh, yeah, beautiful, a very, very well-known painting as well. It's uh, wow. you actually find it on the cover of books and things like that. One so. is a uh, work that's in the Louvre, and one is the Pink Panther working in the Louvre. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Oh, oh my goodness, sorry. I'm sure you see all things. The Art Appraisal Day will take place for evaluations at the Sheridan Suites Eau Claire today between 9 and 5. Thank you for being a good sport, Rob. Oh, my pleasure. It's I'm sure. To be here. Uh, have you seen anything worse than. Worse? <laughs> I'm sorry, Jill. I think my. I, I can't hear you. From we say here. interesting. We interesting. Don't say words. <laughs> yeah, very interesting. You're word. better at the language <laughs> than I am. Uh, yeah.